Looking for a place to stay while visiting Montreal, Canada? Then consider Gingerbread Manor, located in the heart of Plateau mont -Royal. In this video, I'll show you the room that we stayed in, as well as some perks the area itself has to offer. So if you're interested in learning more, let's get started. This Victorian era house was built in 1885 and currently has six rooms that guests can stay at. We chose to stay in the Cartier room, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. When we first walked into our room, we felt like the space was really clean, and that was no different from the manor itself. The room was spacious, and there was definitely enough light in the room. This room was equipped with a bench, a bureau, two nightstands, a bed, and a chair, as well as some charging ports. It also had a Roku TV that offered free Netflix, free Prime. Um, there was also free Wi-Fi included in the room, which was really cool too. The window of this room didn't have a view of the street that we were on or anything scenic of that nature, but what I will say is that it did generate a lot of light for the room. Now, regarding AC, we went in May, so we actually didn't need it, but it is listed on their website, at least in this room, and I've seen it in other rooms too. It's listed as an amenity. Um, I saw an AC unit in the closet that we were in, so I'm sure that that's something they provide. We just didn't get to experience it, so I can't speak on it. The orange and black boxes on either nightstand are actually charger adapters. So if you're coming out of the country and you're worried that your charger is not going to be compatible with Canada's charging ports, you don't have to worry, they have it covered for you. And over here we just have a table that has some other helpful amenities. We didn't really need to use the table, but it has a mirror, some glasses, a recycling bin underneath, and so forth. Looking at the bed, we thought it was clean, it was sleek, it was fine, the bed itself was firm, the pillows were a little bit on like the fluffier side, so if you need something a little firmer for your head, I'd suggest perhaps bringing your own pillow. But other than that, we thought it was great. Looking into the bathroom, we see that there is rubbing alcohol stocked, Q-tips, lotion, all very thoughtful. There's cups for drinking if you need. There's also rags if you need to take off your makeup, which I thought was very thoughtful of them. The toiletries were definitely stocked. You had a lot of towels, tissues, toilet paper, and if you needed any more, the hosts were very approachable. You could just ask for some more. Over by the shower, we thought the water pressure was fine. We also thought that the water turned hot and cold very quickly. That was fine too. There is shampoo, conditioner, and body soap offered. There isn't a physical bar of soap, so in the future, if you're coming here, just remember to bring a bar of soap. There's also a blow dryer if you want to blow dry those luscious locks of yours. And this bathroom is actually one of two bathrooms that is directly connected to a room. The rest of the bathrooms, if you were to stay in one of the rooms here, would be more of a communal style bathroom. And that's why we selected this room, because we wanted a bathroom directly connected to our room. Overall, we would rate this room about a high 7 to a low 8 out of 10. And our reason for that is we really feel like this room hit all the necessities for sure. Our only drawback is that we personally felt like the walls were very thin, and we also had to keep our speaking volume in our room at a very soft tone. Now this for us was not a deal breaker, but if it is for you, then we would recommend staying at another location. Moving on to the breakfast portion of this bed and breakfast. I really, really enjoyed this breakfast. I just thought it was really well put together and it was made with a lot of love. 
I also apologize for not having a lot of footage of our time at breakfast, so I'll be overlaying other aspects of our stay while I'm speaking about breakfast. But honestly, the biggest reason why I don't have the footage is, one, we were eating with guests and I didn't want to be rude and pull out my phone, but the conversations at the breakfast table were with the hosts and with guests who were usually from outside the country and mostly from other countries that you know we've never been to so it was really really exciting getting to know all of the people that we were staying with and it was a really unique experience and i didn't want to ruin that but anyway going back to the actual breakfast itself one of the hosts would be responsible for making our breakfast each morning and there were a lot of other like little things on the table too there were cheeses yogurt might have little brownies or pastries there was orange juice tropical passion juice pear juice milk there was also tea if you wanted cappuccino espresso and in the case you weren't a fan of what they were preparing that day they had toast cereal they just really had everything, honestly. They really covered their bases. And what I also really appreciated was they asked if you had any dietary restrictions and in the case that you did, they would really strive to make sure they were meeting all of those restrictions with flying colors. So overall, great part of our stay was the breakfast here. I think the icing on the cake for us staying at Gingerbread Manor really was their location. If you look here right now, we are walking in St. Louis Square, and this is a square that is located literally a street away from where we were staying. And I want you to imagine, you just got up, you had freshly made breakfast, it's a beautiful sunny day, and then you decide, oh, I think I wanna go sit in the square. So you go walk in the square where there's other people just leisurely, around and then you get to look at this beautiful fountain and, and you're just calm and you're happy and that's really what it was for us in the morning it was a great way to start the day and then if you chose to keep walking kind of like diagonally through the actual square you would ultimately find yourself at the metro station it was six minutes away from the manor and it was truly an awesome part of our traveling experience if you're a tourist and the metro system in Montreal makes you nervous, please do not let it. It is one of the easiest things to navigate. It is absolutely nothing like the New York subway system or anything like that. You will love this system and it is such an asset to your traveling. And even coming back, let's say we would come back at 10 p.m. at night, the location was very residential with a spark of an urban feel. So we really felt safe at night too. The square still had people just hanging out at night. It was really cool. And if you walk, I'd say like a, in, within a 10 minute radius, you'd find a strip of restaurants and shops too. And I also wanna share how affordable it was to stay at Gingerbread Manor. We came in on a Tuesday and we left on a Friday. So we were there for a total of four days. We spent 370 US American dollars, which translates to, I believe, 535 Canadian dollars on a room for two people next to a metro station six minutes away that brings you pretty much anywhere you'd ever want to go while visiting Montreal. I mean, name me another hotel that does that, because when we were looking all around the area, we didn't find anything that was even comparable to this. And if it did, it was double the price. So for us, this was definitely a bargain and we loved every minute of it. So in the end, if you're looking to stay at a charming bed and breakfast in a solid location that has really good food and great hosts, I definitely recommend checking out Gingerbread Manor. We had a great time and we think you will too. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think of Gingerbread Manor? Let me know below. And also let me know if you have any other questions you think I might be able to answer. Please be sure to like and subscribe and tell me, what should I review next? <laughs>